guys, it's me, Figaro. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, thank you so much for coming and checking this one out. As you can tell by the title, these are my top albums of 2022. What a year for music it has been. An amazing year. This pandemic has brought out the most beautiful, ugliest, brutal, crushing, mellowest music in years. It's been an amazing year for music. Almost thanks to the pandemic. Almost not. Some people got through it, some people didn't. And you can hear the pain in the music of this year. So many bands reformed, so many bands cancelled, so many bands broken up. It's just been one of those roller coaster years. There's some gems in there. We're going to check out the top 10 of my favorite of the year. Guys, it's a bit of a mixed bag, it's a bit of everything. What a year. Thank you so much. We're coming and checking it out. Let's do it! All right, <laughs> my number 10 pick for this year is a band you have never heard of. They're called Soul Blind, straight out of New York City. My God, the post-hardcore grunge influence is real. They sound, it is different. Seriously, if you were like a kid of the 90s, this will be a dream come true band for you. It's like silver chair cross Alice in Chains slash helmet heaviness in there. Like they've got some brutal stuff in there. And then you got that grunge straight out of the 90s. The dude sounds like Daniel Johns from silver chair. It's very different. Something you haven't heard in the last 10, 15 years. I guarantee you'll enjoy it if you like the grunge of the old day, the Alice in Chains. As I said, the silver chair, the grinners, everything. Go check it out. Feel it all around is the album. And wow, it's filled with bangers. It's not too long either, so it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's just straight in, straight out. And even though their film clips and stuff are fully reminiscent of those 90s eras spider bait film clips like oh my god it's so 90s it's awesome in like a field with all that weird monotone color or even like fully saturated it's a trip back man so if you like all that sort of sound gardeny sort of grungy era with your bit of like bit of heaviness to it go check out soul blind album Feel it all around. Go check it out, please. Seriously, they need you to check them out. It's... They're hardly undiscovered. Like, nobody knows of them. Go check them out. <laughs> Number nine, my boys. From Norma Jean. Wow, what an album. Death Rattle, Sing For Me. These guys have been around for a hot minute. Ever since I remember getting into metal, they were like one of the first metalcore, spaz, whatever you call it, math, metal, that sort of... They're brutal as hell. Guys, they've been smashing it out for a good 20 years now, and this album is an absolute banger. Oh my god. Do they just keep getting better? Proof that metal does not need to be drop X to be heavy. These guys are still playing six strings, and this shit is... Heavy as hell, man. I don't even, pretty sure it's almost fairly standard tuning. Don't quote me on that, but it's still heavy, crushing, vocalist, still killing it. Instrumentals, amazing. Like, probably one of my favorite freaking Norma Jean songs are on this album. Spearmint Rhino, whatever the hell it's called. It's Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> Ah, oh, any it's something like that. It's an amazing song. Why do I not know this song? My god. Spearmint Revolt. That's the song. An amazing song. God, the whole album is full of bangers. It's brutality at its best. They were like almost the creators of that mathcore, math metal sort of sound. Dirty, fuzzy, 
vocalist just keeps getting better somehow. I know they've gone through a lot of like members, a lot of instrumentalist dudes coming and going and now we're pretty well set on a good team. They are crushing it. The singer is still killing it. He does adding stuff. And he is blah, 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 blah. Like, freaking amazing. Highs, lows, mids. His singing voice is like improving as well. Oh god. This shit gives me goosebumps, guys. Go check it out. Death Rattle, sing for me. I thought actually his lyrics was Death Metal is safe for me, but <laughs> Anyway, that's what I thought he was saying the whole time until I read the lyrics and yep guys Norma Jean is at my number nine. What an album. Go check it out. If you're a fan of the old and new It's Norma Jean. They're back, baby. They're back. Hell yeah <laughs> Number eight we're gonna slow it down a bit guys <sighs> After some Norma Jean madness, we got to calm that down. It's day seeker is my number eight spot. Oh, this band, the Orange County Quintet. An amazing, amazing band. The album, Dark Sun. Is it Dark Sun? It's Dark Sun, my God. It's a bit softer. It's a post-hardcore, sort of. They've got that synth wave thing happening in there. They got a bit of shoegaze. It's, mmm, they're tasty. Their previous stuff was a little heavier. This album brings it right down the oh my god the vocals oh my god he will melt your heart incredibly this guy can do everything scream sing any pitch you could ever want this guy can do it my god what an album the instrumentation it's a bit all over the shot like it's amazing don't get me wrong but we got heavy stuff at the start of the album which is ooh, ooh, some of their better heavier stuff and then we've got like acoustic sort of stuff. We got some ballads. We got some synth wave sort of tracks of lo-fi. They're crushing it. Holy shit. It's my number eight. Dayseeker. Go check them out if you haven't. You They're sort of just starting to blow up, which is good. So cannot wait to see more, hear more from these guys. Everything. Crushing it. Go check out some of the singles because each song is very different. They've highlighted like I think their first single was sort of that more metalcore post hardcore sound with they're just genting away. It's like yes with the screamy singy choruses that sort of thing. You know it's not generic at all seriously like they sound different. They're one of those bands that just sound different and then they go and like crush your heart with some freaking synth wave stuff. It's just, ah, uh, the choruses, a little solos thrown in here and there. Very lightly though, very lightly, but adds, adds to it. Go back and listen. You'll hear more layers. Guys, Dayseeker Dark Sun is my number eight. Awesome record, go check it out. Number seven, yes, one of the most underrated new metal spaz core, whatever the hell you want to call them. They're amazing. Tala, the generation of danger. These guys, they made one of my lists a couple years ago with the last album, Metrifony or whatever the hell it was called. It was awesome. Holy shit. And if I don't know how these guys are not massive, y'all. One of the like founding lights. Of the resurgence of the new metal guys they sound like freaking corn and slipknot the drummer is freaking mark portnoy from dream theater's son he just sounds like a reincarnation of joey jordison like his drumming is like joey from the first album like completely over the top mental time changes just oh and I think I prefer this album over the last one. Like, they've stepped it up. Again, like, it's just next level. Some of the time changes in this album, just like... You cannot play this to a click. This shit is just all over the shot. And we gotta give props to the singer, cause holy shit, if you've heard a better singer... He can sing, he can scream, he can do the freaking pig squeals from demons from hell, he can do all that. 
sort of shit that's exploding in 2022 right now. Farmyard animals, that's the word I'm thinking of. He's amazing. I'm pretty sure he blew his freaking voice out on this album too. You can tell he just put his heart and soul into everything. He, oh. Like, sort of like Sixth, if you've heard of that band. You haven't, have you? What are you doing? He's, he does everything. He's like, blah, 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 blah. It's just spastic. He sounds like he's having a mental freaking breakdown. And the music is like old school Slipknot. Like the first album where it's just straight in your face, jumping like, I want to go see these guys live. The pit would just be absolutely mental. People losing their freaking minds. Anyway, Tala, the generation of danger. There's like scratchings, there's freaking the guitar work is all over the shot. As I said, the drummer is off his goddamn mind. It's insane. Some of the best drumming I've heard this year. He's a freaking beast, man, I guess. When you're the son of one of the best progressive drummers ever, you gotta be just as good. And holy shit, he is amazing. Max, Jesus, dude. Amazing. Go check out this band. Nobody knows of them either, and they're freaking amazing. So, the generation of danger. Go check them out. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Holy shit. At number six, we got our post-hardcore Titans taking on the DDG. Yes, it's Royal Coda. My God. Oh, I love this band so much. If you like... Dance Gavin Dance, yes, all those bands, you will love the shit out of this band. I, if this is even possible to say, almost prefer this to Dance Gavin. Because I like the more proggy, post, sort of progressive side of it. It's amazing. If you like Dance Gavin, then you'll love these guys, except there's just more layering in this, I reckon. The drums are just... He's off his frickin' rocker, man. This guy is just, like, blast beating and there's, like, the most melodic shit happening. Like, that's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. He's just... He's just doing shit. He's just all over, man. He's an absolute beast. You got your good old frickin' Will Swan from Dance Gavin, so you know that shit's gonna be good. Sergio. Oh my god, dude. The other guitarist. Absolute madman. Ugh. Amazing. Kurt Travis as well, ex-member of Dance Gavin. So it's basically Dance Gavin, the old school days. <laughs> Which is amazing. Oh my god. Kirk. <sighs> the vocals on this album are the best shit he's probably ever done. He gets up there real high. Real high. Oh my god. Just melts your heart. He's such a good vocalist. And when you got a band that is just absolutely insane, Backing you, like the best of the best freaking musical instrumentalists in the business. Holy shit, you're on to a winner. Royal Coda. To only a few at first. That's the album. Sorry, I just forgot to mention the whole album. It's a banger of an album. Holy sh- There is not a bad song on here. Or a skippable song. It's just like... Smash hit after smash hit. They got the prog, they got the rock, they got the metals, they got the post. It's amazing stuff. As I said, if you're a... fan of any of those bands... the Dance Gavin bands, the Swarcon, the Swarncore... Swarncore! <laughs> <laughs> wow, going all dick, dick lex. Wow, I can speak. Wow, go check out that album. Wow. We're halfway, and my number five is the legendary counterparts. My God, this band. A eulogy, a eulogy for those still here, guys. What an amazing band. I got into these guys about five, six years ago. I was just like, bands that sound like Misery Signals, because Misery Signals are one of my favorite bands ever. That awesome, melodic, hardcore, progressive metalcore, whatever you want to call it. The guitar wizardry, 
the insane drumming, the vocals, amazing. Brandon is one of the, like, best vocalists in the business. His writing skill is just second to none, like, I used to go on and, like, just read the comments and stuff like that, and there's so many people that are like, this, oh, this freaking song changed my life, your lyrics are amazing, you just go through it, it just brings a tear to your eye, this guy has been through some shit. Amazing, amazing stuff, he adds some different stuff on this album too, he's got that hardcore bark, the highs, the lows, he even adds a whole bunch of new shit to this album, which just, mmm, mmm, and as I said, the instrumentals are just, Amazing, they have that that post-progressive melodic hardcore shit happening where it's just my favorite stuff is just completely beautiful. Like it's just leaves your mouth like how the fuck is this coming out of a guitar? And the drummer's just freaking all over the shop, going mental. One of the amazingest drummers in the business, just oh dude. My god. Let's not forget about the bass too. All the bassists, love the bass. All these albums have amazing bass work. Dude. Pretty much Counterparts came out as soon as Misery Signals disbanded. And now Misery's back, hell yeah. But they've just kept putting album after album after album. They've had a few lineup changes, but Every album they've ever done is freaking amazing. Like nines out of ten, almost every album. Killer. Killer no filler. Counterparts. Go check them out if you haven't. The new album is completely sick. It's amazing. It's up there with all the other albums. Continuing to kick ass. Counterparts. A eulogy for those still here. Alright, we're getting into the nitty gritty now. Number four. Ooh. Ooh, my instrumentalist boys, animals as leaders. What's the album? Parisia, Parisia, something like that. Anyway, I think it's a big call. It's a big call. And I think this is the best thing they've ever done, animals. Just sounding more like a band than freaking Tosin's jizz work. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, they're all good. Javier, ah. Oh. This album is just like, mmm, sounds more of a collective band, as I said, than just toast and just writing songs, but the cohesion of the musicality is just, oh my god, every song is just like, how are you even doing any of this? It's amazing. I don't even know how animals can get better than they have, and they're just getting better and better. It's insane. The first album of course, will live in my heart as like, ooh, when that came out, oh my god. But this album is up there for me. It's, it's, oh, it's definitely one to remember. The wizardry of those two boys and the drums is just, you can't even play that shit. How do you even, how? Oh, you want, you want me to play drums? Well, there's no way I can play this shit. He's an actual freak. Ugh. Just watch anything with animals as leaders and you'll just be like, how are these guys doing it? I love the new songs too, just... It's just, as I said before, it's just more of a cohesion of a band than just... Guitar! Guitar! They let it breathe. There's just sections that just let the guitar breathe. Yes, there's still the insane shreddy solos. All the animals stuff you love, but... Mmm. Some of the things they do, just the techniques. Still creating guitar techniques to this day when everything has been done. These guys are breaking the music apart, like... Creating new sounds, new styles, new everything. It's just... There's everything in this album. World music, genticles, progressive, e everything. It's an amazing album. What is it called? Parasia? 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 Something like that. Wow. One of my favorite albums. I don't even know the title of the thing. Anyway, 
you know animals as leaders, kicking ass, taking names, and 2022, they're doing it again, somehow, creating new stuff. Go check them out. Number three, we're sticking with the instrumentalists. Yes, it's Polyphia. Remember that you will die. Brutal, brutal, but remember that, because shit, YOLO. Polyphia, oh God, my story with Polyphia is extremely weird. I never liked them. I never liked them, I'm gonna straight out and say it. Until the last album, New Levels, New Devils, or whatever the hell it was called, the one with Goat on it, and I was just like, okay, okay, I hear you now. I hear you, and this album, ooh. This could easily be interchangeable with my top three best albums of the year. It's, I've never had an album that just makes me so happy. This wizardry of instrumentalists is just insane. As well as Animals as Leaders, these two are like the instrumental leaders of the pack. They're creating new genres. They're paving a way forward for us metalheads. And oh my god, this album, it's not so much metal. There is definitely your metal chunks in it. Very poppy, very hip hoppy, very trappy, very ever. Oh, but with instrumentals, it's like, holy shit. And I was like, I swear these drums aren't real. And then you go check out the videos online and he's playing this shit, man. He's playing it. He's got a weird ass drum kit, but it, and it sounds like an electronic kit. It's a real kit that just sounds like an electronic. It's bizarre. The musicians in this band, oh my god. The two Julie guitarist dudes, just, ah, oh my god. And some of the guests they have on there too, that Steve Vai song, every time I hear Steve come in, I'm just like, heard it like freaking 70 times and I'm just like still every time I'm just like there's just insane moments on this album it also makes me feel happy oh my god I haven't heard an album that makes me go yeah I feel good holy shit there's like anime songs there's freaking brutal shit there's like hip-hop tracks it's just a whole mixture of different music on the one album with the guys that can like noodle wizardry the entire fretboard from frickin' front to back. It's amazing stuff, guys. Go check out their new album. It doesn't disappoint. I didn't like it. I just thought it was like elevator music. Like their earlier sort of stuff. And now they know how to write a goddamn song. Very poppy. Like chorus, bridge, you know, like what the hell do you call it? How to make a song. Standardy song, but they put their own spin on it, and it's just like, wow, okay. Okay, I'm listening. Amazing shit. Don't worry, there's brutalness on there, there's some chunks, there's some chunks. Hell yeah. Polyphia. Remember that you'll die, so go listen to it. Before that time is up. That's my number three. Holy shit, number we're getting close. Oh good. <laughs> Taking the number two slot. Oh yeah. My Aussie boys. North Lane with Obsidian. I love North Lane so much. I've loved them since the day they existed. My Aussie boys. I've seen them that many times. Such an amazing band. I don't know how they do it, but they just keep getting better and better and better. And this album is no substitute. It is freaking amazing. They've just gone from like your standardy metalcore sort of stuff to your genty. They've added electronic elements. And now it's all just in this mishmash bowl with this trappy stuff. Like, oh my God. They've just made it their own now. And they sound like actual North Lane. That makes no sense. I'm making no sense, but when I think North Lane, that's the sound that I think of now, is their current sound. They broke through 
I mean, they're a huge band, but I'm pretty sure they've gone more worldwide ever since Alien came out. And that just broke them through to that international stage. Which they deserve. They've been grinding this shit out in Australia forever. Like, I've seen them like 20 times live. They're so good, man. Holy shit. They keep crushing it. Every time. Perfect, like, album covers when they do it live. Like, it's just... Do you guys, like, screw up a note? The drummer's one of my favorite freaking drummers, Nick. Of all time. The shit that this dude plays is just out of control. He needs like eight hands. I don't know how the shit he does that stuff. But I love all the guitar work. I'm pretty sure one of the main songwriter guys, Jonathan, delving way more into the electronic elements. And it's just makes the sound huge, man. Like, you just listen to this album. And I think, I can actually say this, I think it's better than Alien. I don't know how, but it is. Like, I listen to this shit almost every day and there's just no songs that I skip. It's something different, guys. Every song on this album seems different. The time signatures have just, have just got it down. The songwriting is just, mmm, I love it. More pop sensibility than sort of metal writings. Just makes it feel smoother. It just smoothens it out. Listenable. That's the word I'm thinking of. Makes it way more listenable. Anyway, Obsidian is such a great listen. It's pretty long. I think there's like 14 songs or something, but there's bangers on there, man. Like, holy shit. Cannot wait to see what Northlane does next. My god. And still, cranking out albums every two years, just amazing. I don't even know how bands do this shit. They just keep creating amazing stuff, topping themselves each time. That's my number two. What's my number one? Ooh. And my number one slot goes to, yes, it's another Australian act. Once again, beating out North Lane. <laughs> a spot on top of each other every time they've released an album. It's Thornhill, horny for thorny, oh my god. Have you guys listened to this album? It's called Heroin, their latest this year. It's an absolute masterpiece. Like, it took me a few listens to like fully get it. And I'm still literally finding, I've heard this album over triple digits and I'm still finding stuff in this album. It's a deep dive, a deep listen, headphones. It sounds different on everything I've ever played it on. It's an extremely weird sounding album. Like the vocals are back in the mix, there's effects on the vocals, like... Holy shit. Let's explain. This band is amazing. Controversial, in fact. They had that amazing gent metalcore sound for their last album, The Deadpool, which was... 10 out of 10 album, it just beat North Lane Alien in my last list. You'll never find that list. YouTube buries my shit. Uh, and, oh my god. That album was a 10 out of 10, The Dark Pool. And then a complete change of sound, complete flip script. I don't even know how. Like, The Deadpool is like one of my favorite albums ever. And then they bring out a completely different sound, and I still love it. How the fuck do you do that as a band? They're sort of like... It's, it's insane. This genre blend. They've still got your heavier sort of stuff, but that has just definitely been pushed in the background. It's more like... Oh god, if you just like went into the Crow universe... <laughs> you know the movie The Crow, Brandon Lee? And just played this album and just sat in one of those pubs with like a red light in like one of those dark streets, like Dark City. One of those sort of movies that is like the perfect description of... <laughs> it's dark, it's dirty, it's the most sexiest fucking thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Like, I want to get naked listening to this album. I know that sounds weird, but you can see that seedy underbelly like in a strip club. You know, it's hard to explain this album. Seriously, like, the song, my favorite song changes all the time, and I'm like, Holy shit, this is this song? And then, it's a mix. There's a mix of everything. There's slow stuff. It's got 
What am I trying to say? How am I explaining this band? It's like a Deftones placebo cross with frickin' Thornhill, North Lane, like, I don't know. It's so hard to explain. It's sexy as hell. Oh my God. The grinding. <laughs> it's hard to put into words, but go listen to the album. Heroin. Oh my God. It's a beautiful album. Far out. The vocals are just dreamy. Like, there's so many different effects, and there's just been so many diverse, controversial, like, people talking about this album. They're like, oh, it's too back in the mix. You need to push it up forward and just shut up and just take your head back and just fucking listen to it. And it is just perfect. Oh. The swells, it's, it is like Chino, but it doesn't sound like Chino, but it's sort of that, that wave, it's got that, ooh, that shoegaze feel to it, it's got that, ooh, the guitars just flow in and out, it's shoegaze, it's genty shoegaze, oh my god, that's what I'm trying to say, that's the genre of it, it's, it's my favorite shit, shoegaze, I love it, with the heaviness, it's got groove, the guitars are like multi-layered, there's like that post like thrashing shit. This will make no sense to you. You're like, what? There's thrash in this shit? But no, there's not. There's not thrash. It's just that thing that the post bands do where they just chuck on an effect and do this and it's like like a mosquito in your ear and you're like, oh, 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 oh god, get it out of my ears. It's too good. <laughs> That's a terrible analogy, but goddamn, I love this band so much. I don't know how I haven't seen them live. They've been here like four times and every time something pops up, something pops up every time I go to see this band. So this is not meant to be, but they'll be back and I will see them. And I'll mosh my goddamn brains out. Anyway, this shit is just amazing. That shoegaze sexiness. I, it's so hard to explain, man. This It's just a great band. Go check it out. Heroin. That is my number one album of the year. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Almost every song. There's probably one little intro-y sort of song that you skip. But everything else. Whew. Just a banger. Oh, God. My heart grows weak for this band. Horny for thorny. It's a real thing. <laughs> anyway, that's my number one. Guys, honorable mentions. There's been so many this year. Oh, Architect's new one. Whew. That's a bit mixed. It's probably one of my favorite songs on that album ever. Oh, God. You know the one with the trippy AI shit with the film clip and the solo oh my god oh love that album what else has come out corn's new album requiem mmm corn's still getting better each album uh, seriously I'm, I'm just saying that this shit is freaking amazing man their last like three albums have been fucking killer yo Meshuggah doing what Meshuggah does best it didn't make the list but it's Meshuggah immutable Immutable. Oh god, what an album. The Chuggy Chuggy Gent Masters are back. Monuments in Stasis. Another banger from the Gent Gods. Yes, yes. Ama oh god, remember freaking Monuments. Ugh. Yeah, they got freaking New Boy on the vocals. He's killing it. And hell yeah. You can't go wrong with Monuments. If you like that style, smash it. You'll love it. Do the Rammstein. Still. All the original members. Still. Crushing it. Still. What the hell, Rammstein? Zait. An album. Shit. Amazing. The Devil Wears Prada is another one that just missed out on the list. Color Decay. Devil Wears Prada. Remember the Metalcore days? Early 2000s? Ooh. They were crushing it. Now they're back. Crushing it again. This is probably the best album they've done in like 15 years. Amazing shit, Devil Wears Prada. New Slipknot. 
yay nay. It's got some really good shit and it's got some really not so good shit. Slipknot. Go check it out if you haven't. Of course, we've got to talk about the grandpappies of the new death metal, Lorna Shaw. Crushing it. Great album. Didn't make the list though. I don't know. I just get bored with the Yep, that's the breakdown. I've heard that 25,000 times, but Lorna Shaw, shit. What am I even saying? Lorna Shaw, great. Didn't make the list though, but Lorna Shaw, the pain remains. <sighs> My heart strings. Death metal for the emo kid. That's what they are. Ozzy. New Ozzy Osbourne. Holy shit, he's still going. Patient number nine. Bill 04. David Maximicki. Yep, Bill 04. If you haven't checked out Bill 04, it's like soundtrack music, but Mel. The dude should be doing music, fucking movie soundtracks. The dude is insane. Bill 04. Bill 04. Holy. Been following that dude ever since the first one, and. Mmm. Back in the Got Gent days. <laughs> yeah, Got Gent. Yeah. Whoo, God, there's been so much music this year. That's not even the start of it. I, Chelsea Grin, new album, freaking killer. There's, what else is there? I can't think right now, but there's so many albums this year. Oh God, what? I almost forgot. This would have been my number 11 pick if there was an 11 pick. Alexis on fire, otherness. Whoo, they age like a fine wine. The old Alexis on fire. It's, it's a bit slower. There's still some fast tracks on there. It's a bit slower, but they're getting older. And they're getting more wiser, and they're just getting that chill groove on that rock. Nice old man feel. That's not what it's like, but it's a Lex on fire. If you like that style, you're going to love it. Hell yeah, a Lex on fire. Otherness, it's so good that they're back. Holy shit. I saw the breakup show and goddamn every I reckon everybody there was in fucking tears it was um, one of the best shows I've ever seen and they're back they're touring again and with an album holy shit thank you Alexis on fire I get to see you again amazing band Ugh. again with the post hardcore whatever you want to call them there's something like that I love it great amazing triple vocalist act that's just Ooh, get the cojones going. <laughs> yeah, guys. Ooh, what a year for music. I've missed so much stuff, seriously. There's... And probably there's an album out there that's probably my number one that I haven't even fucking heard. Anyway. Amazing year for music. Cannot wait for next year. There's so many albums going to be coming out next year. Music. It's amazing. Everyone says music sucks. And it's like, are you listening to rock and metal? Or are you just listening to your pop shit? You're just sticking with your own shit that all sounds the same. Is your boom, di boo, di boo, di boo, di through the 30 billion fucking songs. Anyway. So yeah, that's my top 10 list. There's some highs, there's some lows. As I said, this pandemic has brought out the best and worst in humans in music it's just been a banger of a year for music in the rock and metal industry anyway everything else just sounds the same it's a breath of fresh air hearing new sounds coming out of the metal scene it's just they're still creating new shit still to this day we thought everything would be written already but we are proved wrong and thank freaking god for that because holy shit i love music it's gotten me through so many times and I'm sure with you too. What are your top 10 albums for the year? I would love to know. I'm sure I missed something. There's definitely going to be something out there that I haven't even heard. That's probably number one album of this year. Let me know some new bands. I'm, I hope you found out some new bands from me going through my list. Yes, there's your OG ones, your Corns, your Meshuggas, your Rammsteins, and some new ones, I hope, that you didn't even hear of. Thank you so much for watching. That was... A lot of fun coming and doing this. Sorry I didn't play the drums, but no time. No time for you. No time for me. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. 2023 will bring more 
to the amazing metal scene, to the amazing rock scene, to the amazing music scene, all around. Because we take influences from everybody and create our own shit. That's what it's about. Music. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Adios!